Assess the patient's hips, beginning with hip mobility. Ask the patient to bend his knee to his chest, pulling it firmly against his abdomen. He should be able to flex his knee and hip without difficulty while the opposite thigh remains near the table. Very good. Let's check other movements that you're Next, hip. test hip rotation. Flex the leg to 90 degrees at the hip and knee. Then stabilize the thigh with one hand and grasp the ankle with the other. Now move the lower leg medially so that the femur rotates externally at the hip. Then move the lower leg laterally so that the femur rotates internally. Finally, abduct the extended leg until you feel the anterior superior iliac spine move in the opposite hip. Repeat these maneuvers on the opposite now side. Check on the other side. Okay. If a hip is painful or limited in motion, palpate for tenderness in three areas. First, palpate deeply below the inguinal ligament and lateral to the femoral pulse for the hip joint and the overlying iliopectineal bursa. Is this tender here? No, it's fine. Okay. Second, with the patient lying on his non-painful side, palpate the greater trochanter of the femur for the trochanteric bursa. And third, palpate the ischial tuberosity for the ischial bursa. How about in here? No, it's fine. Now let's look at your feet and knees. Finally, have the patient stand and again inspect his feet and knees, noting any deformities. Okay, good. I'll have you turn around and we'll look at the back of your knees now. As the patient turns around, observe for any swelling in the popliteal spaces.